we are going to be looking at subtraction using two methods, column subtraction and finding differences using an empty number line. So the scenario is, you've saved some pocket money, the amount is £32.76, however you've spent £23.97 of your pocket money. We are going to use the column subtraction method first to find out how much money you have left. The larger number always needs to go at the top and the smaller number at the bottom. In most cases, this is true. Don't forget the takeaway symbol. So now we have our hundredths, tenths, our units and tens. Remember, numbers that go after the decimal point are less than a whole. 76 pence is less than a pound. 97 pence is less than a pound. 70 is a tenth. 90 is a tenth. 6 pennies is a hundredth because a hundred pennies make a pound so they are hundredths. 7 pennies is also a hundredth and so on. So let's start. I'll use a different coloured pen for this. 6 take away 7. Now you can't do that because 6 is smaller than 7 so you need to borrow from the tens. So you borrow a 10. That 10 now becomes a 6. Now you can do it. 16 take away 7 is possible. Let's count up from the 7 till we get to 16 to figure out what the difference is. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 9. A difference of 9. Now we have 60 tens take away 90. So 60p take away 90. Again, this is not possible. So you need to borrow from the units. So you're borrowing a unit. So now you have 16, 160. So you've borrowed a pound in theory. 160 pence take away 90. So if we count up from 90, so pound, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, that's 70 pence that you have left. Now because we've borrowed a pound and moved it to the tenths column, we now have one pound. One pound take away three pounds again is not possible, so you need to borrow from the tens column. That becomes a two, and you now got 11 pounds take away three. 11 take away three, well, 11, 10, 9, 8. Eight pounds. And two, 20, and take away another 20 is zero. So you have left eight pounds 79. So in column subtraction, it's really important that you borrow from the column next to the column that you're working on, and then that number falls by the one, and you carry on until you get your answer.